Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to teach you for number three tutorial um, how to add images into your window. This is pretty cool because you can take any image you want um, and paste, not paste, put it right into your window and it'd show up just like it would like if you're viewing it on your desktop or on an internet site, so it's pretty cool. Anyways, you got to import java.ot and I just import all of them and java dot java x dot swing dot all of them and I usually close those and since j frame alright so alright so what we're gonna have is two images in our program and what you should do is go to the internet, find two images you want, um, save them, and then drag them. If you're using an IDE like NetBeans or Eclipse, there's a lot more, but you can usually just drag it right into the package that you are currently working in. And right now I'm in the default package, so that's why it doesn't say like pack what package I'm in up here. But um, as long as they're in the same package as your class is, what I'm about to do is will work or else if it's not you're gonna have to type the f um, the path where the file is located so like if it's on the C drive and um, documents something like that so it's easy if you just drag it in like I already, I already did but you can't see it but it's over there I have two pictures so so we're gonna need private J Actually no, it's not J. It's just image icon image, and then what we need to show the images is actually a label. So we just basically we take we make an image, attach our image to that image icon, and then we take our label and attach our image object to that label, so it actually shows up onto the screen. But at least that's how I do it. So private J label label one. Actually call this image one because we're gonna have two of them and then private image icon image two private j label label two and I didn't capitalize the L so it gives me an error there you go now make the constructor alright set layout we're still gonna use a flow layout we'll probably be using that for like maybe the next five or six and then I'll teach you uh, some better layout styles. Alright, so image one is equal to new image icon. Now, inside these parameters, we need to get our image. And mine happens to be located right inside my. Um, I'm using NetBeans, so it's located right inside the package that I'm working in. So to do that, you're going to type in get class and empty parameters and on the outside type dot get resource and then for these parameters you're going to type in in quotation marks the file name and I have a picture of a plane so plane dot and you have to get the extension right and it is case sensitive so mine's got dot jpg there now that's what our image is so now we can take our label and set our image to be displayed on that label. So we'll use label one. So label one is equal to new J label. And then we're gonna say inside these parameters we're gonna put image one. Just like that. And then we're gonna add label one. I'm gonna separate this just so it's neater. Down to and then if you actually if you want, just take this, copy, paste right in there just change a couple things now we're going to use image 2 and then just change the file path name I have a picture of the earth so earth.jpg and it is capital E yours might be you know just watch the case because it is sensitive and then this one's going to be labeled 2 and we want to add image 2 you want to add label 2 to the screen just like that now that should be it for the constructor um, let's write the main method. If 
you don't know how to do this, um, let's look back at my previous tutorials. I explain it in detail, but from now on, I'm just gonna do this, um, just really fast, and I'm not even gonna talk. So. Actually, there is one new thing that I'm going to explain right now. Normally, we do GUI dot set um, set size and then you know whatever. <laughs> yeah, not like that. But um, but today, since I don't really know how well, I do know how big the images are, but I don't know. Like, I don't want to mess up the program and make them display wrong. So I'm gonna use a nice function in Java called GUI dot pack right there. Pack. And what that does is it basically packs or um, shrinks the window to fit only around what you have in the window so there's not going to be any extra space but it's going to display everything nice and uh, yeah it's going to display everything right there without cutting anything off and then let's see yep I think that's it so oh we didn't set a title alright run this thing there it is you can see it got a picture of a plane landing over a beach <coughs> looks pretty scary and a picture of the earth out in orbit with the sun and as you can see we use flow layout so it goes left to right our first one we've added was the image one which happened to be my plane and then the second one we added was the earth which was my image two so just laid it out left, right, and then a pack. It just packed everything around the um, biggest one, and then this one happens to be um, shorter. So there's white space here because it's not like it's gonna like cut up here. It's it's always gonna be a s rectangle, so or square. Yeah. So I hope I explained enough how to do this. Just look at the code, and you should understand. It's not too hard. Probably the hardest thing is this get class that get resource thing. Um, so thanks for watching and I hope to see you around for the next one. And don't forget to subscribe because I'm always coming up with new um, videos. Thanks.